Hi, Sharon. We will get started shortly. Today's Facebook Live will actually be um, a two for one, I'll call it. I'm going to quickly go through um, and do a show and tell of some of the new products coming in um, the mini catalog, January, June mini catalog starting January 5th. And I'll show most of the celebration products. I think I have all but one at this point. And after we do this quick show and tell of new products, I'm going to take my camera back over to my craft table and show you how to make a very fun wreath. If you saw the wreath on my blog post yesterday, it's not that one. Um, because that one's a little more self-explanatory, um, but I will be showing you a different one that you can make um, very quickly and easily with designer series paper, two inch strips. And let's just wait another 30 seconds or so, 20, 30 seconds. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Lisa. Sure do miss my Cincinnati friends, it's been so long. Actually, I haven't gotten together with anybody there for um, classes since a year ago. I believe late November or early December was my last class in Cincinnati, um, just with the pandemic going on and such. Hi, Joyce, good afternoon. With all these new products, I've got lots of ideas jumping around in my head and I've started doing some designing for classes and events in 2021. I will most definitely be starting out with just classes to go in the new year until we see what happens with our pandemic numbers in Ohio. But either way, the classes are fun and good and Zoom and FaceTime, uh, Facebook Lives help make up for some of missing my Stampin' Friends. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by saying here are copies of the mini catalog and the celebration brochure. If you have made a, uh, placed a Stampin' Up! order with me since January of this year, you were on my list to receive a catalog from Stampin' Up! directly. Those, I was told, have been mailed out um, or were being mailed out starting December 9th. So, and, and just because of the way the postal service and shipping services are right now, I'd say give it to the, you know, two weeks. Um, if it's after Christmas and you haven't received yours, uh, received yours, let me know. Um, I did purchase a couple extra cases in case some get lost along the way and whatever. And if you don't have yours at the end of the month, I'm happy to send them to you. If you are not currently working with the Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I, Mary Nabe, from Westerville, Ohio, would love to earn your business. And I'm happy to send you complimentary catalogs. If you are not currently working with another demonstrator, you just have to send me a message with your full name and your mailing address and your catalog request. And I will drop those in the mail for you. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this show and tell of new product very quickly. Okay, I'm going to start off with two kits. Our first all-inclusive kit is Hello, Dear Friend. And you can see it's just beautiful, bright, sunny, warm colors. Um, just to throw out a thank you or to remember somebody um, or simply 
to send them a card, let them know you're thinking of them and say hello. It comes with lots of pre-printed card bases and cutout pieces. There are banners. Um, there's a little bit of gold trim in those, which makes it really nice metallic trim. And also you can see some metallic twine. You get a sheet of dimensionals. You get a stamp set that you'll be able to keep and use forever and ever and ever. And I love this. It's just a real basic go-to set. And the featured color is the Misty Moonlight. And you do get that as well as a clear block in this all-inclusive kit. One of the project kits we have is the You Are Amazing project kit. And when um, we refer to project kits, that means the stamp set is an add-on. Um, and it's a great add-on to complete your project kit. However, both the stamp set and the project kit are great um, single individual products as well. But this particular project kit comes with fun envelopes. All of our kits that have cards in um, come with the envelopes, so you don't have to worry about that. But these are pretty lined envelopes. Um, I just went through the other night and was punching out pieces and um, did some stamping, and I haven't put them together yet. But as you can see, bright, one, bright, wonderful, fun, cheery colors and prints in there. So that's going to be lots of fun. And of course, kits are always awesome to um, make some alternate cards and alternate projects, maybe gift tags or scrapbook pages, that sort of thing. Um, I think this is going to be a very popular bundle, the oval occasions bundle and this oval punch will punch a plain small oval and then the scalloped oval to go with it it's not quite a real scallop I don't know what I would call that edge um, and then all lots of things that will fit in one or both of these punches for layering we have several individual stamp sets coming up. I thought this was adorable. And boy, if I had grandchildren or grandchildren on the way, I would definitely consider um, getting something like this. Or just if you have lots of nieces and nephews or babies that you take care of, whatever, this is an awesome, awesome stamp set. Um, and I'm picturing the three of these figures on their little um, pull toys just kind of attached together. Wouldn't that make a cute scrapbook page? Or maybe a piece of home decor, welcome the baby. Handmade for you. Okay, I love this. At one time I did do lots of sewing when my girls were little. So it has some fun sewing things in here, stitched with love, the dress form, scissors. But I love, first of all, it has that copyright, Stampin' Up copyright stamp. So if you make anything with our products and intend, intend to sell them, especially if they have stamped images. Um, the angel policy says that you should be um, stamping the copyright on those things that you're going to sell. Um, if you're just giving it away or keeping it for yourself, making for yourself, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter. Um, but if you're selling, we are required to have a copyright stamped on there. But look at these, handmade for you. If you're just making a gift to give somebody or this one, I mean, how nice would it be to stamp that on there and put your signature? I think that's awesome. Happy thoughts. I love this. In fact, I'm participating in a demonstrator swap later this month, um, actually four, and this is one of the stamp sets I'll be using. And I just think that... Um, really has some great sentiments in there. And actually, I'm thinking this is by um, designed in part by one of our million dollar sales achievers. And I'm thinking this might be Jackie Bullheis's stamp set. Wonderful as you. I do send miss you cards a lot with my Emily being gone um, away at school right now and 
um, just friends I haven't seen in a long time, especially with pandemic going on. And I love this, sending p positive thoughts. There's lots of people in the world going through some difficult times. And what a nice sentiment that is to put on a card. Enjoy the moment with all these nature pods. And I will have to um, print out a graphic or post it to my Facebook and blog because a demonstrator looked at, looked up all these different pods and things and identified which trees or plants they came from, which I thought was pretty cool. I may have shown this before, the Many Messages stamp set. It's really, it says we call them all stamp sets, but it's one stamp. Um, and then you can stamp this one time, have all these sentiments, and then we have one die. You line that up, and the easiest way to line up this die is match up the stars and then the heart at the top. And that will ensure that um, all of these things that are cut out at once will be cut out accurately and centered in the die shapes. The Simply Succulents bundle. This is going to be awesome to work with. I also love that they have these different labels, the label dies, because you can use them not only with these sentiments, but other sentiments from many of our other stamp sets. It's always fun to mix and match our sets. Floating and fluttering, if you're into butterflies. This is pretty awesome. I think these, and I, I have shown these already. I just went ahead and bought myself a second set just because. Um, but I have already shown our wonderful new um, blending brushes. And it is in a fairly recent uh, blog post and Facebook Live where I made a snowman, or not a snowman, a snowflake card, snowflake card. But those are wonderful. The blending brushes will probably most definitely be my new favorite tool. I've got a big Stampin' Up! box behind me because I have so many things to show you and I need to drop all these somewhere. Okay, this is the Snail Mail Designer Series paper. There is a stamp set and other um, embellishments and things that go with this. I just purchased the paper. Can't get it all at once, you know. So let me just show you this really quickly. And you know this year we've really been focusing on snail mail. Not just making cards, but sending them. Using our handmade cards to brighten people's, other people's days. And if you're not into the snails and things, look at this. Look at all these fabulous patterns in a great color combination that you could use literally with just about anything. So I love that. In fact, um, the snails are cute and such, but quite honestly, I picture myself using a lot of these um, patterns and prints from the backside. Alrighty, what else? What should I show you next? How about this one? Okay, this I do not have the Hydrangea um, Sweet Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper. I do not have the bundle. In fact, I just put it on my order. But I wanted to show you some of the other products that go in the suite. So here's the Designer Series paper. Now with something like this, you can cut it in half and you would have those pieces for card fronts, six card fronts, or you could cut it in half and use these um, perhaps as a bottom border on a scrapbook layout or a collage, something like that. This is the back side. Looks like Rococo Rose, I think. Isn't that beautiful? I love the colors in this, love the colors. And can you see there's a very subtle print on the back of these? That's pretty too. They're all beautiful. And you can see too, it's um, kind of watercolor painted. 
this looks like it's been stamped and then you spritz with the water. That's what it looks like to me, which is a lot of times how Stampin' Up! Um, creates their designer series papers or their designers do, I should say. And these great big hydrangeas. And isn't that a pretty green for that? So that's called Hydrangea Hill Designer Series Paper. And then we have some wonderful acetate sheets. Okay, there's basically a small random acetate pattern. And then there's another pattern with um, larger, what to look, looks to me like bubbles, I'll say. And um, comes in two colors, so you get four sheets in that. A beautiful, gorgeous grape ribbon. If you are familiar with the real red sheer ribbon we have right now, um, this replicates that in gorgeous grape. It's the same feel, the same weight, um, and that I have loved working with that real red sheer ribbon. So I'm thrilled um, to have another sheer ribbon in a different color. And that one's gorgeous grape. And then we have these pretty pastel pearls. If I can pull this out here. Aren't those lovely? Four colors. Gorgeous. And like I said, there is a stamp set and die set that coordinate with this hydrangea suite. Um, some of you have seen me work with the fine art gallery paper. Remember last month, my daughter Emily had a birthday and I made her the card and a wine bottle tag to go with her gift. So there's one sheet in the back. And these I do believe were hand painted by a Stampin' Up! artist and then they photographed the paintings and then made designer series paper. So pretty darn cool. Okay. And then we also have more designer acetate. And one side, there's three different sheets, okay? And one side is printed with gold. The opposite side is printed with silver. So again, um, showing some great versatility in our products. Um, I also wanna point out, which if you watch that video um, with the wine bottle holder and um, card I made for Emily, I showed this, that, and again, this is artistic. Um, the lines are not perfectly drawn on the flowers and things because they're painted, but this sheet of acetate matches right up with that floral. Isn't that cool? So that's another um, Facebook Live you can look back at. Here is the bundle that it coordinates with, the art gallery. And there you go. This says, I feel like, are there two sheets of? No, it is just one sheet of dies. This says, um, let me think, just want to say, and then you can add in these little, just want to say congratulations, just want to say um, sorry, just want to say I'm thinking of you. So I love that about that bundle. We have the painted texture embossing folder, so it gives that um, plaster look. A lot of people used to do that for the faux painting in their homes. And then this pretty gold shimmery ribbon. This I have not opened and I'm not going to until I'm ready to use it because I have been told once you open this, it just kind of explodes. They said open it into like a plas larger plastic container that you can... Um, that would, you know, hold your, all the bits as it comes out. And then you just put the plastic lid on. But you use this either with, um, uh, oh, what do I want to say? 
with like a tear and tape adhesive and you just lay that on there. Or you can use this heat and stick powder, which just creates like you heat it up and creates that stickiness and then you apply that and then just rub off the excess. Heat and stick powder is something we've used in the past to adhere glitters to our projects. Joyce, isn't it amazing? In fact, when I saw the catalog, that was the first thing I said, I have to have that set. Um, very first suite I picked. Um, Okay, here's another one that I worked with, I believe, last week. So some of you may have already seen it if you were watching that Facebook Live. And this is the Well Suited Suite. Remember I mentioned how my dad always wore a suit and tie to work as a high school teacher for all those years? <laughs> just a favorite memory. His birthday was two days ago. He would have been 87. I was just, I had fun just thinking about him and reminiscing. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you. So here's the bundle that goes with it. I really haven't worked with the dies yet, but they look like lots of fun. But I have die cut these six little buttons um, and used them as embellishments in a card. And I just thought I'd throw out this tip because, you know, you cut out teeny tiny little things and you have a pile and eventually, you know, some always get lost or misplaced. So what I did as I was working, when I die cut these, I went ahead and put each one on a little mini glue dot. And then I just have to hold on to that strip and it goes with my card pieces when I'm working. And then it comes with a dual pack of Baker's Twine, Knight of Navy, and Basic Gray. I have to say too, I keep t forgetting to tell my sister and show her this. This plaid, I don't know why, but reminds me of my brother-in-law, her husband. In fact, he has a mask, a, a, a fabric mask, that I have to take a look because the print seems very similar to that. Okay, something I, you have not seen from me, you might have seen it from another demonstrator though, is the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper. So we have this cool ice cream suite. Mmm, makes you think summer, doesn't it? Look at those, all the sprinkles. Joyce, something, Joyce Wilhelm, something like this would be good for um, your, um, if you have a scrapbook showing all the cakes you've made and decorated, or Rosie and Debbie, this would be a good one. Um, if you're keeping a scrapbook with photos of your, uh, homemade cookies that you sell because it has all those little sprinkles. Isn't that fun, watercolor? More watercolor blobs. Look at the popsicles. Mmm. And a fun stripe. So even, you can see, even though it's an ice cream cone theme, you can see that many of these sheets you can use for lots of other projects as well. And here is the bundle. I love stamp sets with coordinating punches. So you've got the ice cream cone and um, the scoop of ice cream. Um, and I just, as I was unpacking everything today, I just had the idea looking at this, I'm like, how fun would this be to use this as penance for a banner that maybe spells out happy birthday or um, congratulations, something like that. There's this wonderful, again, a sheer, a striped sheer Blackberry Bliss ribbon. I, again, love the weight of it because it's easy to work with. You can tie great bows without any trouble, and it doesn't create a lot of bulk, especially when you're mailing, because I love to use ribbons, but sometimes the bows and knots can create a little too much bulk. Look at these. These are like little, I don't even know what, they're not foam, but they're just a real lightweight plastic, but they look like little foam. How cool is that? I can't wait to make a shaker card with the ice cream corner sprinkles. Okay, a few more things. 
Here is, and I don't even know what this is called, Sand and Sea Sweet. The Sand and Sea Sweet. And I'll show you this first. It's pearlized specialty paper. It's probably hard to see how beautiful it is. Um, and I know the spot I'm standing in right now is not the best lighting, but I just had so much to show you. I didn't want to do it in my craft space. So when I get to the wreath making, I'll just pick up my stand with my phone camera and move it to my craft space. But for now, this is, this is what it is. Isn't that pretty? You think of ocean waves with that pretty dot pattern on the back. Look at this. Is that gorgeous? Can you picture a whole scene? Maybe this is the sand and the background and the sky. I don't know what I, exactly I would do with this yet. Um, or the setting sun. I don't know. Just, I'm, this, it's so beautiful though. <laughs> That's pretty. All the different seashells. I love the sand dollars. When I was in um, Hilton Head over the summer, I brought home a sand dollar that I found in the tide pool. It was already dead. And sand or uh, the starfish on the back there. Look at that wave. I think of like um, the water sprays, you know, how it kind of, I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I mean, right? When you see the water spray, like the wave comes and then the white and you get all the bubbles. That reminds me of jellyfish I'd... and these beautiful seashells and that neutral on the back. There are opal rounds embellishment. That's all they're called, those opal rounds. And they're not, you know, it's funny because they are a circle shape, but just the way the glimmer and the opal shows up, the shapes look... Um, they can almost look like they're not perfect circles, but they really are. It's just cool. You have to see it for yourself, though. I don't think it shows that well on the video. And then these are sticker embellishments, the starfish and then some shells. Those are just fun accents. Now this, okay, I am going to say this is, this whole thing is pretty darn cool. And, and I have some customers that if it has anything to do with the beach or the sea, they buy it automatically, no questions asked. Whereas I don't buy as much of that theme. But this I knew I had to have the whole suite. And this is what I want to show you. You can... There are several dies in here, but... I'm gonna pull this off because I think it's a little bit hard to see if I don't pull it off. Oops, let me grab that. One fell on the floor, I don't wanna lose that. Okay, so this is one die. What is so cool about this is you can die cut and it looks really awesome. It looks awesome on any paper but it looks really, really awesome on watercolor paper. But you can simply die cut that out and you have all these little shapes. Then you have all these stamps. So once that is die cut and it will come out as one piece, you can stamp a shell here. You can stamp the shell, and these are the outlines of the shells, okay? There's a few different ones. I'm just gonna show you those three big ones, but look, it has all of this, okay? So you can stamp the different shells in here, and then it's two-step stamping, like here's, I have to, which way is it? I guess it goes this way for some two-step stamping in there, add a little more color. Oops, sorry. Okay, so you're going to die cut, 
you're going to stamp on that die cut piece. And it's easy to line all this up because we have a photopolymer set. Then once you've done that, the die cutting and the stamping, you're going to take that piece of paper, say we, we did it on here, the die cut with the stamped shells on there, and you're going to lay it in here in this. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm trying to find. I don't know if that helps. Not really. But anyways, um, here's what it looks like. But you can then lay your die cut stamped paper in here, line it up, and run it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And it comes out. So now you have one piece of paper that has been die cut stamped and has all this detailed embossing on it. It is so cool. I've seen it. I cannot wait to make it myself. It is amazing. And I've never, I don't think we've ever had a bundle or suite that did something like that. I always get excited about the very, very new things. <laughs> okay. Another awesome suite that is coming, and I have to think of what it's called. Maybe, I'm not sure, always, love always sweet. I can't really remember. But anyways, this has three different papers in it, not to mention all kinds of other amazing things. But the first paper is called True Love DSP. It's all black and white. You can use it as black and white and add a pop of color if you want with embellishments or ribbon. Or you can use your Stampin' Blends or sponge daubers and ink pads to color. Ooh, that's a little crazy, isn't it? It's busy on the eyes. Look at those tiny little daisies. This might, reminds me of a fabric print I once had. The diagonals, diagonal stripes, polka dots. These papers would be good for the spotlighting technique where you just spotlight, maybe, you know, make a card or a scrapbook page, but you've only spotlighted part of it, meaning you're only coloring part of it. That would be fun. So that's awesome. And my thought is, and I'm going to be using these for my February February Creative Escape Weekend plus an Escape to Go, which means basically um, you would get the same make and take kit um, as my Creative Escape Weekend attendees and be able to make things. And one of the, we're going to use this in February, and one of the sets of cards will actually be masculine cards where we're using the black and white patterns. Okay, not the florals, but the black and white pattern for one of the card sets in that event coming up. The a second paper is called the Love You Always Specialty Paper. Look at this, this is gorgeous. It is, I think Sahara Sand, yes, Sahara Sand. Rococo Rose, and you're getting three of each of these. They're white on the back side. Three of each of these sheets. And Blushing Bride. Aren't they all gorgeous? And they've got the each got that metallic print. I love them. The third paper in this product suite. Oh, Joyce Letterby, I completely understand. It is so hard to hold back. And in fact, the reason that I order it this time of year, and I'm so busy, and then you add the holidays and everything, it just makes it so hard, but I'm trying to plan classes and things for the new year. But yes, I'm like you, though. I have more than have my um, minimums in, so it's hard to keep holding back. So look at all of these wonderful metallics. Oops, I guess you're getting two. There's three colors. You're getting two of each. I think I just scratched mine or smudged it. Aren't those pretty? So all of those papers can be used together in one suite. 
Of course, you can mix and match them with lots of other wonderful products that we sell. We have the black matte dots as an embellishment. I'm trying to open this ribbon because this is really pretty. I want you to see this up close. Okay, so this is what it looks like on one side. And then you flip it over and you get more shimmer. So really you could use both sides of this. There's a bow. Or you can make your bow with more of the shimmer side showing. Isn't that awesome? There are some fun little heart, open heart embellishments. They're metallic. And one side is completely flat. That side is completely flat. And one side is rounded. Now these are the stamp sets that go with that suite. I don't have the dies yet. The dies weren't in when I wanted to order this and play. I wish I would, would have waited because the dies are in as of today. It didn't take nearly as long as they thought it might have. Um, but I'll order the dies to go with these. So a wonderful addition and it's nice having two choices of bundles for that suite. These are a fun new box. And they are called the Love You, Love You Always Treat Box. And I'm just gonna fold one up really quickly so you can see how it goes together. All of our boxes come pre-scored and pre-cut, which is wonderful, makes them super easy to put together. And I say that, I haven't put in that to, Put in, I haven't put this one together yet, so we shall see. <laughs> ah, as soon as I said that, I thought, oh, I need to be careful because I haven't actually put this one together yet. So you're going to fold in those small tabs, if I can get it here, and then push down these tabs on the side like that. And then if I'm not mistaken, we go in, now let me think, something's not right. Um, I was thinking, oh, maybe they're not that easy. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong here. I'm gonna have to work on this, won't I? I think this part is right. So what am I doing wrong with the last part? There we go. No, it's not. It's still not right. Okay, well, once I figure out how to put it together correctly, it should go like that, though, which is confusing to me. Anyways, I'll have to show you that later. But when you have it assembled, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. That's gonna bug me, but I'll figure it out after the live. Once you have that folded and closed, it slides into this holder. So a lot of times we make our own belly band to hold a box shut. This one slides right in. Isn't that cool? And then of course you can decorate the box. You can decorate the belly band. Um, you can leave the box plain and decorate only the belly band. But I think that's pretty awesome. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I feel like there's an extra flap and I can't figure out why that is. Anyways, we will play with that later or I will play with that later and show you. But it's also a fun size. Think about that box fitting in here. It's bigger than a lot of the boxes that we have had in the past. So you can put a nice little present or fill it with lots of goodies. Okay. This is from the annual catalog, Sweet Strawberry Bundle. It's awesome, amazing. You've got all these pieces to cut out the leaves and the tops of the strawberries, the strawberry fruit, and the blossom. But look at this. In the celebration brochure, so this is the annual catalog. That's an annual catalog bundle. 
in the celebration brochure, we have another bundle that coordinates with that one. Now this is one that's available for a hundred dollar purchase, but something to keep in mind. I like to tell people this ahead of time. Look at this paper. Is it not wonderful? I absolutely love this paper. And it has the stamp set. So this is a celebration bundle where you would get these two products free with a $100 purchase. But you could make this bundle from, I said annual catalog, the mini catalog, January, June mini catalog, could be part of that $100 purchase. So you get this free and they all coordinate together. I thought that was fabulous. I might have to come up with a class for that. And then just very quickly, that is one paper you can get free in the celebration brochure. Celebration this year is just January to February. We will have a different one later in the year. So this initial one is just January to February. And there are actually four different designer series papers that you can get free. That first one with the $100 purchase. And then these three each with a $50 purchase, free with a $50 purchase. This first one is called Paper Blooms. Oops. Okay. This is called Field and Flower, Flower and Field. Flower and Field. I was using this today to make one of those. Um, actually, I'm making two different swap cards, swap sets with this paper. And then this one, which I think is super fun, is called the Ombre, Oh So Ombre. And it has in it Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, and Rococo Rose. So just four colors but it's so fun. Look at that, and you can see the ombre sides and then the dots, just super, super fun. And finally, some of the free stamp sets that you can get with a $50 purchase in January and February. There is one stamp set that I don't have um, that is available with a $100 order and I don't have that yet to show you but it is in the brochure so approaching perfection fun birthday messages corner bouquet I'm excited to work with this kind of got a few ideas in my head but not exactly sure how it will work out so I'll, I'm excited to try that the donkeys hey there friend <laughs> and heal your heart which might just be my my very favorite stamp set in the celebration brochure. So now you have seen lots and lots and lots of um, products coming. If you are not a subscriber to my blog, Stamp in Peace with Mary Nave, you may not have seen this project yesterday. I was asked to be a guest designer for a Facebook group that is called 3D Thursday and um, such an honor. And of course, if anything like that comes up, I of course say yes. Um, so this was my project that was featured on that Facebook group. And then there are four demonstrators who coordinate that group who all have blogs. And so they also featured my project on their blogs as well. But if you didn't see it, check out stampinpeace.com. Super simple to make, super simple to make. Um, just a lot of die cutting with the poinsettias and I have those all layered up. Um, oops, I don't know where that guy came from. Must have been an extra tucked in there. Um, and then just embossed the little banner and stuck that on. But I used a 10 inch styrofoam wreath and wrapped it with the shaded spruce ribbon from the Wonder of the Seasons uh, ribbon combo, which is half price right now. That ribbon combo is half price. And I'm so excited because I believe the poinsettias are coming back for next holiday season. So I'm thrilled about that because I've enjoyed using them and haven't 
haven't gotten tired of them. I still have so many ideas. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a wreath with a styrofoam base. It is one of the round tubular ones. This is a 10 inch styrofoam base. I'm not going to show you the one I just made because this is pretty simple. You're just, well, the other one is too, but um, with this, you just wrap your ribbon and you keep overlapping it as you wrap. It did take me a full bolt of the shaded spruce ribbon in that combo pack to wrap this um, 10 inch styrofoam wreath. And then I just did lots of die cutting and adhered those and put a gold hanger on. This gold twine is also in that ribbon combo pack and it's super easy. And this isn't, I mean, if I were at my big, big house, this probably would get lost on my front door um, because of its size. So it's 10 inch wreath, so maybe 12 inches edge to edge. But this would be awesome. And it's very lightweight being styrofoam. So it would be awesome to um, mail to somebody as a gift or just something to brighten their day and hang in their home. Um, it would be awesome for somebody who lives in a tiny space, a small apartment, somebody maybe in a retirement home, um, or for a colleague to hang in their cubicle at work for a teacher. But it's very inexpensive to make and it's very easy to make. The most time consuming part was the die cutting I did. But of course you could put anything you want on it, die cut or punched. Just wrap it with the ribbon is where you start. Now for this one, I've also stamped the Merry Christmas from the Poinsettia Petals stamp set. And I'm again using a 10 inch wreath, but now I am using two inch by 12 inch strips of designer series paper. Now I just cut a bunch and I honestly couldn't remember exactly how many I needed. I think it's 21, but I've cut 24, I believe. But they're two inch strips. For this particular wreath, I decided I'm using all the same pattern paper. Um, this is a good one. When I've made these in the past, oh, oftentimes I like to use like three different but coordinating designer series papers, um, sometimes four, but I always found that three different but coordinating pieces of paper work very well for this type of wreath. So let me show you how easy this is. I'm going to recommend that you use um, multi-purpose glue, and I've got two here that are nearly finished, but um, I pulled in I brought out a, a brand new one, just in case I need it. But you're gonna put a little bit of glue kind of in the center. And you're going to wrap it around your wreath like that. Wrap the two ends around the wreath. You are then going to adhere the strips, just like that, okay? And remember, when you're using um, multi-purpose glue, it does allow you to move around a little bit. Gives you, you know, it's a little forgiving. Um, so it's gonna take a few seconds. It may not adhere real fast, but just be patient and hold on to it just like that. I probably should have put some, I guess maybe I should have. And I like to go pretty close to the wreath. So most of that flap that's extended is closed rather than if I only take the glue from the ends partway in, then I'm gonna have an open gap there. Okay, and just pinch it like that. Take your next piece, put some in the middle, and I'm gonna go like this. And when you do this, you're gonna do the very same thing. I just put my fingers right in that. Hold on, let me wipe those off. You're gonna do the same thing, but you want to be sure that these overlap and not just a little bit. You want them to overlap enough that they basically um, hide the white styrofoam at 
where they come together. Does that make sense? Those of you who are watching, have any of you made these with me in the past? Okay, I'm gonna pull this up because I don't have my edges quite matched. See why I recommend multi-purpose glue? I did it there, I needed a little more time. I was able to pull that apart a bit and realign those edges. And then you just keep going like this all the way around. Joyce, you have not. Oh, neither Joyce has. Okay. I thought you might have. It's been several years, several, several, several years since I made them. But I def definitely did offer them a couple times as classes or in workshops when I lived in Mason. Mason, Ohio, for those of you who may be watching or watch the replay. I don't know what I'm talking about when I say Mason. Okay. And I'm not gonna adhere all of these right now. I know we've been on for a long time. This is my Facebook second Facebook Live this week that went pretty long. Wednesday evenings was long, but it was a lot of fun going through the, um, the projects for the Tag Buffet kit, as well as the Joy of Sharing card kit both of which are on sale. And if, when I checked earlier today, those were both still available at their sale price. Joy of Sharing Card Kit is 30% off. So down to $24.50. And I showed how to just make your own card, uh, alternate cards. And then I also did a quick collage with pieces of that kit on Wednesday evening. And then the Tag Buffet kit is half price at $15. So that's awesome. And you can make a minimum of 30 cards by following the directions, or you can do some um, alternate tags and increase that number from 30. Or you can take a look at that Facebook Live, watch the replay, and see that I made some um, scrapbook pages as well with it. Oh, <laughs> Joyce, I so remember that. But this was about the same time as we made those curly wreaths. Um, oh boy, did we get lost that time, didn't we? And what was it? I had the right address. It was so strange because I had the right address, but I think whatever she lives on drive or something, I maybe put in road or street. It took us to a completely different place and we were just talking away. And, and I even remember saying, this not, didn't take me this way before, but we've got the address in. We checked the house number. <laughs> we'll just call that an adventure, right, Joyce? Oh, I was so frazzled and people were waiting on us for this class and I was the one conducting the class. I was so embarrassed, but it ended up being fine and we all had a good time. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. And as you see, you just continue around with your two inch by 12 inch strips. Once you have that done, you are going to punch the ends. Now I have two choices of punches and you can, you can use lots of different ones, honestly. Um, there was another one I had in mind. I'm not seeing it just yet though. Oh, here it is. Like you could punch the ends, do something like that. Punch that where they're just getting rid of those little corners. Um, you can use our 
banner triple punch, just like that. The two inch strips fit in there and you have enough space when you're using the strips at 12 inches long, you have enough room to slide that in the punch. And if here is another alternate I, uh, punch I use often with the, um, if I want the banner end, if I want the banner end trim look, you know what I mean. Um, getting jumbled, my words all jumbled. But the difference here is, and this will accommodate a little bit larger, a little bit wider than two inch strips, but also any size strip, um, teeny tiny ones, quarter inch strips. But the main difference between punching a banner end with this one and this tag, tailored tag punch, is that this V is a little um, deeper, a little sharper, whereas this one is a little wider. Okay, so this I would say would just be a little less um, dramatic, maybe a little more subtle than the typical banner punch. But you would just slide your ends in, kind of center it up there, and punch like that. Thank you all. Oh, I didn't get that centered quite right. Thank you all for um, for those of you who watch on a regular basis. You know I'm typically on at 11 on Fridays. And ironically, I've been thinking about switching to 2 p.m. on Fridays permanently. But um, that's not the reason I switched today. The reason is that Andrea is off work today. They have a random free day at her school. And Emily came home from University of Cincinnati this week. So Andrea had asked us if we all wanted to go out for a walk together at the park with Mila and Mally, who are John and Andrea's dogs. So Emily and I went and met up with Andrea at the park. And, and if you know me, any time I have the opportunity to spend with my daughters, I pretty much jump on it. Um, so thank you for accommodating me with a change in time today. So that, my friends, is the beginning of this wreath. Now you can see I started with a 10 inch styrofoam wreath. So by the time I finish, it will be quite sizable, like big enough that you can hang it on your front door and it's going to be noticeable from the street. So it adds about, oh, about three, in, three and a half inches on each side. So seven, about 17 inches um, across for the finished wreath. And then you can put anything you want on it. I found this, and I know some of you have worked with these. I found an extra package of these um, what are they even called? Brightly gleaming foil elements. They were on our um, clearance rack for a while. I'm not 100% sure that they're still there. Um, some of you may have them from um, past projects working with me. I know we used them at a Creative Escape weekend last year. But I thought I might use these to finish off this wreath just layering up some of these beautiful stars. And then there's other little ornaments and um, some green sprigs, some small stars. But I think that's how I will finish off my wreath. And I'll also add a Merry Christmas message in there as well. So I will finish this. I, I don't think you want to just watch me add another 8, 10, 12, strips. Um, but I think this gives you a very good start of what the finished wreath will look like. I will finish this th this evening and I will post it um, to my blog this weekend so you can see the finished wreath. But I hope you enjoyed seeing some brand new products that I'm really excited to be sharing and excited to start working with. And again, January 5th is the date for the new um, 
January, June mini catalog, as well as the January, February celebration brochure. And um, so it's a great time, exciting time, something fun to look forward to once the holidays pass as well. And please do check out stampinpeace.com, yesterday's blog post for um, this project and a supply list as well. Another wreath that also uses the 10 inch styrofoam wreath. Have a great Friday, Friday. It's been a long, long week at this house. Um, several challenges and interruptions to my work, but, um, but in the end, it's all been a good week. Yesterday was a fun day. I took off and I was in uh, Westchester and Mason just for the day. I had uh, breakfast with my dear friend Rosie. Um, it's been a long time since she and, Abram and I were able to catch up together. Um, I had a spa day. I found a, a gift certificate or gift card that I hadn't used before I moved. So I um, got my nails done. I got a facial. And then what did I do? Then I hung out for a little bit. Oh, I went to see my littles, um, the Steele family that I used to um, watch. And we have been family friends for a very long time. Their mom, Carrie, was my daughter Andrea's fifth grade teacher. And We've um, been in touch ever since. We figured that is 19 years. I think that's what we said. Was it 19? Yes, I believe it was 19 years since we met Carrie. Um, so we've watched each other's families grow, which has been fun. But I had a good time with the Littles. They each played um, a Christmas song on the piano for me. I had a little concert. I had dinner with them, took them um, a fun hot chocolate set five Santa mugs and hot chocolate packs and marshmallows and candy canes and fun, fun day. So it's back to work today. Um, and that's about it. Have a great weekend.